Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. We're checking out more Amits today. We're on the Battle Rec account that's owned by Pixonic. So we're kind of going to do a review on this guy, talk about how to play him. I'm going to talk about my favorite setups and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, this video should help you guys understand if this Titans for you or not. So first off, two cannibal reactors and two plated armor kits with the three shotgun setup is by far my favorite. The brand new weapons that are a lot like the Vortexes just came out and those things are really cool. But the problem I find is this robot's very squishy. And if anybody gets close to him, he needs something really powerful at close range to defend himself or he's going to die really fast. All right, so we put the two plated armor kits that gives him 40% more durability and he still seems unbelievably squishy. So I feel that he really needs the three shotguns to survive. Now the, the retaliator setup is really cool. Um, pretty much all the weapons do great on this guy, but these are by far my favorite. So this guy has two abilities. One is an EMP, which disables the other robot's abilities. And that's a really cool deal, right? It doesn't suppress him. It doesn't lock him down like the Typhon does, but it will make so the other robots cannot use their ability. All right. So Hard Rain is his other one. He goes up in the air for a duration of eight seconds. He shoots off a bunch of rockets that have a 500 meter range. and They do 1,300 damage per rocket. Plus, he goes into stealth, so this is a very deadly Titan, but it's not easy to play. you got to get the hang of how to play it. Once you figure out how to play this guy, he will do very well for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some gameplay. We'll talk about uh, how to play him and give you some tips and stuff on how to play him as we're in the gameplay. All right, since the new Titan is so squishy, you really want to kind of stay in the back wait for your ability to be ready, get up in the air, fire a bunch of rockets at people, and make sure you get back to a place where nobody can hit you when you land. So we're gonna hit that guy so he can't use his ability. All right, he's actually kind of fast, which is cool, but we don't wanna come out from cover. We're gonna stay back here with this Titan, and we're gonna hope that our teammates get all the beacons, right? Currently, we're doing okay, but could be doing a lot better. So right now, we, we do not want to get hit by that hawk. That will be a major problem. All right, watch how fast that hawk starts to shred us. Now we're going to shred the hawk. Let's go after this guy instead, right? He's out in the open. Yeah, between me and that other titan, we were doing a number on that guy. So right now, we can't hit him. But we always want to stay back behind our team, okay? We don't ever want to be up in the front because with this titan, if you go up in the front, you're guaranteed to get smashed by about 20 different uh, 20 different enemies so yeah he moves pretty decently fast which is nice let's see if we can get rid of that nodens we're gonna go ahead and hit that so he can't use his ability all right we're gonna smash the nodens real quick with our rockets and i'm gonna tell you i just like the shotguns for the fact that like i said you can't really defend yourself well without the shotguns on this because if anybody gets close they will tear you up and we're a little too far away for these shotguns to really do too much to that Titan. So we'll go ahead and hit him with our thing again so he can't use his ability. I'm not really sure what happened there, but it didn't work the first time for some reason. Let's go ahead and step out here a little bit. Let's get these shotguns up over top of stuff, or maybe we'll do a little corner shooting. Smash this guy down real quick. I see a great opportunity to take out a couple of robots here, so we might as well go for it. All right. We'll hit that node in so he can't use his ability. Let's go, let's go shoot the, oh, let's go for that Arthur. Yeah, we want to go for the Arthur. We're going to try and take him out. We want to make sure we land back behind cover where they're not going to be able to shoot us. Because I'm telling you, we will die quick if we don't stay back here. Now, if you can have a teammate with a node in or something, that would be great. All right. Node would really help keep this guy alive, but he's super squishy. He's super squishy. We're going to take this guy down. You can see how much damage I'm taking just from a regular robot. All right, let's go up in the air. Let's take out this Falcon real quick. Now let's go after this Arthur. We're going to try. Oh, I hit the wrong. I hit the button by mistake and it made me land. So I really messed up there. That's one thing. It, I'm kind of glad I did that because if you hit the ability button twice, your robot will land. All right. 
Look how much damage I'm taking. You gotta stay in the back where they can't get you guys. They will kill you fast, okay? So this isn't really a brawler. This guy isn't really designed to brawl. He's designed to get up and do this kind of thing to the enemies. And he's great at taking them out, okay? He totally relies on this ability to stay alive. Now this guy is so close, we're just gonna smash him, right? We're gonna smash this guy. If we can hit him, that is. Come on, there we go. Triple kill. Crap. This is not good. This is not good. Alright, they got me. They got me. But that was still a really good run before we died. So that's really exactly how you want to play this guy. I mean, any set of weapons you choose is going to do very well. But personally, I really like the shotguns. They're, they're way better than all the weapons for this guy. Right there, unfortunately, if I wasn't out of ammo, I probably could have I probably could have stomped that guy. But my shotguns were pretty much out of ammo when the Nodens came in. Which means it was, you know, it's like, what, two seconds, two and a half seconds between shots or something? So yeah, unfortunately you can't protect yourself when your shotguns are out of ammo. So this is another setup I really like. We'll go ahead and play one more game with them, and we're going to go ahead and use this setup right here. This is really nice because it's got a 600 range, and it's good for, like, beating up Mings and stuff like that. Another setup that's really good is like the the sniper type of like dragoon type weapons Like the Grandamere these things are really cool on this guy if you want to be more like a sniper and that kind of fits this guy, but I Kind of like the uh, other two builds a little bit better and of course There's the brand new weapons if, if you like the vortex like weapons you're gonna love this personally I've never really been a fan of that type of weapon. I don't know why but they're just not really fitting my playing style. I like to have something when the enemy is getting close to me. I've got constant, you know, damage I can deal to him. Not just one shot and I'm out type of thing. Now, if you saw my live stream yesterday, you saw me playing it with the brand new weapons. And they're actually really good. They're just not really my thing. So, eventually I ended up changing it over to something else and I played with it for a while. On the live stream, though, I didn't really have a good feel of how to play this robot yet. And after playing several more games with it after the live stream, I kind of got the idea of how you got to play it, how to keep him alive and all that good stuff. And I'm really starting to like him. Most of the time when I get a ro new robot for the first day or two, I'm just kind of unsure about it. I'm not sure if I like it, but ends up I end up usually enjoying it. There's a few robots like the Hawk. I just never, I never got into the Hawk. I can't get into the Hellburners just... Some of the robots just may not be for me, right? Just like some robots, one person may love it, everybody may love it, but you might get it and you might hate it. So you got to find the robots and the weapons that fit your personal playing styles. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring him in over here. So remember, we got to try and make sure we don't really get ourselves out in the open too much. All right, we want to tear up these Mings. This is a great setup right here for the Mings. So I'm glad there's a couple in the air. We're going to bust this guy up. We're going to kill him real quick. We're going to go ahead and get over this way and hopefully get to a spot where this Ming cannot hit us or we're probably going to die. So we need to stay behind cover. Oh, crap. I'm being hawked. All right, he's going to land. We're going to go ahead and hit him with our uh, EMP for some reason. I know he can't use his ability again for a while. So EMPing him was not really... I should have EMP'd somebody else. All right, let's go after this dude right here. Let's bust him up. Uh-oh. We want to shoot the Titan, right? We want to kill that Titan with our rockets. EMP the Titan, okay? Let's go ahead and land. Hopefully nobody can shoot me. The good news is I can probably hit this guy. Now, I really do like this setup, but I don't like it as much as the shotguns. Now, let's go after this dude here. The shotgun setup is definitely my favorite. In eight seconds, I can go back up in the air. Let's go ahead and hit that Ming. He can't go up in the air now. I got him locked down. He's EMP'd. So let's get up here. Let's take out that Ming real quick. Let's go for their Sharenga. We're going to bust up the Sharenga. We're going to try and land back behind cover here. All right. We're doing really well with this setup. But yeah, the goal is to never let this guy out in the open. And I'm telling you, when you're on a when you're on a team, if your team has a Demeter or a uh, or a Demeter, you want to try and coordinate with your teammates so they drop their Demeter or their or their healing bots 
at the same time that you drop this Titan to sit there and heal you and keep you alive a lot longer because this guy is very devastating but only if you can really not get hit or you have a teammate to protect you all right right now I'm having a really good run where I'm staying in spots where the enemies can't really hit me so therefore I'm staying alive for quite a while and that's working out great but if I get out in the open all right, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. So anyways, I think that pretty much wraps up the video. The new Titan's really cool. I think this pretty much explains like how to play it. Kind of gives you my idea on weapon choices and stuff like that. I have a lot of fun with this guy. All right, he pulls in a decent amount of damage. Um, he's always just a lot of fun, guys. Always just a lot of fun. But anyways, we will catch you guys later. All right, see ya. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. All right, click that little bell. Set those notifications to all if you don't want to miss any giveaways or, you know, news or anything good like that. So, yep. See y'all later. Bye.